opponent, radical liberal Raphael Warnock. I memorized everything they told me to say. Radical liberal Raphael Warnock. I just married a really rich Stacey guy. Abram, radical liberal Raphael Warnock. My husband bought my Senate seat. <laughs> radical liberal Raphael Warnock. No one actually voted for me. Radical liberal Raphael Warnock. I am consumed with self hate. <laughs> radical liberal Raphael Warnock. I don't belong here. I'm not a senator. Nancy radical liberal Raphael Warnock. Where is my husband? I need help. Radical liberal Raphael Warnock. All the players on the WNBA team I own hate me. <laughs> I'm not a real person. I'm a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot. It all comes down to Georgia. Chiwu, I just want you to understand that it all comes down to Georgia. Any change we want to see, anything at all, uh, you know, restarting the Voting Rights Act, okay, something like that, real, uh, you know, if you're interested in, uh, you know, justice reform, it all comes down to the Senate. If we don't have the Senate, none of that is possible. Obama had a House and a Senate to work with for two years, not even two years, not even two years. And he had to do a stimulus package, which Joe Biden will have to do as well. And then he decided to do the ACA to get health care to people like me who wanted to start a business but couldn't because I was being, uh, you know, I worked at the Death Star. Okay, remember, I, I, I worked for Clear Channel for how many freaking years following Rush Limbaugh like the cleanup guy at the Elephant Circus, okay? And I couldn't quit because I needed my health insurance. And I had cancer, all right? So now we get the ACA. You could go. You, it was freedom. It was maximum freedom. It was a chance to try. You can only do that if Biden has a House and a Senate. If he's got Mitch McConnell as the majority leader, remember, the majority leader determines everything that comes to the floor. Now, if people are interested in something really out of the box, really out of the norm the way Donald Trump does things then there is that theory that a caller called me about that he heard on Tom Hartman's show now I need to have a conversation with Tom which I still haven't done because my eyes are drippy and oozy and I had to tend to my own drippy oozy drippy why do they call it dry eye so I haven't had a chance to talk to him but I will tell you that I've been reading and reading and reading about how the vice president of the United States is supposed to be the Senate pro tem, okay? He's supposed to be the president of the Senate. That would be Kamala. However, in 1890, apparently the vice president of the United States just stopped showing up and they farmed it out. And then we got a lot of party politics involved and they made rules that said that if you have the majority in the Senate, you get the majority of, you get the chairmanship of all the committees and then the majority leader gets to say what comes to the floor. You see what I mean? So there's some change that is possible, I think, but it's going to take a lot of conversations with a lot of people, not just Tom, but constitutional scholars, people that understand the parliamentary rules of the Senate, when it changed, why it changed, did it just change because the vice president was a lazy oaf? I don't know. but. Right now, if we won these two seats in Georgia, if we elected John Ossoff, and I, what, by we, I mean Georgians, because they're the only ones that get to vote. And of course, there's your typical voter suppression going on right now in Georgia. In Atlanta, the third largest county, only five early voting sites are open today. They usually have 11 during a general election. And you saw the lines anyway. So now they only have five instead of 11. They'll open two additional sites the third week of early voting, which just began today. And so you'll have a total of seven instead of 11. I mean, you know, look, they love voter suppression. They hate when the people show up. They hate it because there are more of us than there are of these lunatic, fringy, right-wing people. There just are. But it really does come down to Georgia if